Hello everyone, welcome back to Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. Today, again, we're diving straight into Carnage mode. Um, like I said, like I said uh, we're going to do basketball, and this might actually take a while. Um, <laughs> we're going to do it in the Starflight. This is a hard stunt. Uh, we need to get 50 points. I think we get uh, six, six tries to get the 50 points. And uh, basically, we have to get them through the hoops. We get extra points for if we get a nice and straight one. And I can't remember the angles at all. So right now we're going for the 10. Uh, we're not making the 10 at all. Nope. <laughs> but right now I'm just going to continue because I need a little bit of practice. We get actually five rounds, so we need to get... Um, I believe we, get, uh, we need to get uh, all the right hoops, but also get a nice angle so that we get extra points. So let's try it a little bit higher. That's way too high, I'm, I'm sure. Well, actually, it's not that bad. We managed to hit the hinge. Did he fall through? No. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, 57, I believe. 57, the angle, maybe? This is 50, this is uh, way too low compared to our last one. But maybe we, we reach it, and we do. 10 points. That's just a, a flat 10 points. At least we did it this time. We fell on a basketball, apparently they are very bouncy. And, um, yeah. So now we've got the 10 points. You can see there's a cross through it. We can't do that one again. So now we have to go th to the 9. <gasps> And this is way too high an angle. See where we end up. Uh, we can maybe do the eight. There we go. And a thunder dunk, which means that you pass clean through without you, without hitting everything anything with a high speed. So it's actually eleven points. So we can't do that eight. Um, to be sure, I'm gonna aim for the left this time. So that um, we can either hide. Oh. Well, this this looks like nothing. Oh, and we're even gonna. Well, that was horrible. Um, so yeah, we're gonna retry the stunt and hopefully do a little bit better this time. So right now I'm gonna try and go for that 57 angle. Hopefully we can make it. There we go. Oh, that's 54. That's not great. But maybe we can still make it. Oh. No, we hit the hoop. That's terrible. We end up falling through it. I think that maybe we should just reset it now and just try and get that 10 in right at the start and then go from there. <gasps> 62 might be way too high, but on the other hand, I don't think our car was totally flat yet. So, oh, Thunder Dunk on the 9, that's fine too. Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe you can try and avoid the 10 altogether then now. Try and get a thunder dunk on a 9 as well. And then on the 8 and the 7. <gasps> Again a 62. Oh, damn. Oh, that's a slam dunk. That's still good enough. That's uh, 11 points. We're uh, 3 up. On uh, on schedule, if we if uh, at least in my in my mind the schedule is ten points per round. So right now we're um, yeah we're we're three up because we're at uh, twelve and eleven, it's twenty three points after two rounds. So I think it's going well. Well, it's again sixty two, but our car was uh, more flattened out this time, so it's fine. Thunder dunk. Again, 11 points, so uh, we're still 11, uh, we're now 4 ahead of schedule. So we can afford to not get a good dunk. Especially on the last one, on that 7, I'm, I'm a bit worried about that one. 60, that's not good. <gasps> um, do we hit the 8? It's gonna be close. Slam dunk, still good enough, it's 10 points, still 4. 
ahead. So we only need that seven. We don't even need a special one. We just need the seven, and that's good enough for gold. It's actually going way better than I expected. So going flat, and oh, that's that's not good at all. Trying to salvage this, and it's still fine. Slam dunk on the seven. There's nine points. That's good enough. That's 53 points by my calculations, and we need 50. So this is gold. We did get gold. Great. Man, that's one of the harder ones. I didn't expect it to uh, get beaten that easy. Um, now we get a Carnage Raids Desert Scrapyard. We haven't been here yet. It's a bit of a... Um, a um, like a plain graveyard. And um, we do it in the Boxer, which is, I believe, a... Yeah, a race class card that actually says that right on screen. So that's the second class. That's the thing that comes after our next uh, chili uh, when when we beat the chili achievement. Actually, uh, well, I'm not sure whether we'll go straight into the next race. Actually, there's a lot of derbies and stuff to be done. So we try, have to try and get as many points as possible. That's not actually getting us points. Uh, we also need to get further ahead. Whoa! Because we get more points for for being further up the field. This gives them some extra boost, which is nice. Some airtime bonus, everything. Some more airtime bonus, and we get uh, a three times bonus now because we were in fifth. Now we're in second. Get some extra bones for that, I believe it's four times now. And we're right behind Jack Benton. So let's see if we can get a good slam on him. Yes, great. You hit him again, but that one wasn't hard enough. Another good slam. Whoa, some little bit of air time. Um, I'm not sure whether we'll get enough points by this but let's get some extra air time I hope that those checkpoints and everything will do enough some scenery crashing it's all going well so this will get us bronze at the very least extra air time we're just trying to do it on uh, speed this time see if that helps there we go Uh, do the checkpoints not go double? Get some seconds. Gets us very close to silver, but that's not good enough, and that airtime was terrible. Get four seconds. I don't think this will be enough. We do get silver. But for gold, we need a lot more. At least get four seconds. This is not going to be enough. Nope, game over. We got silver. Um, so we attempted to do it with um, just being as fast as we could. That didn't really work out. So we're going to go for a scenery crash right here. Whoa. Um... This is a bad start, so let's try again. Um, this time we're gonna do the scenery crash on the inside, right here. Then power it loose the run. Uh, again, we got stuck, but the power it got us a lot of points, and another power it will lose the run. But we still don't have a bonus for position, so that actually hampers us right now. We're gonna slam in on Ray Carter there, and we now get a uh, double bonus. And uh, I think we killed someone, yes, that was great. And we got bronze early on, still got 30 seconds left, and we get some extra seconds for every checkpoint. Oh, I did crash Katie Jackson out, but without um, a real hit. Just 
pushed her out of the way and made her run into a wall. So we don't get a lot of points for that. Super flip on Jack Benton and he is in trouble. Oh! Well, that was to be expected. Spun out. Now I'm just speeding through. Whoa! And I spun out. And I wrecked Jack Benton and that got me gold. Oh. Katie Jackson wanted a piece of that. And now she's stuck behind the corpse of Jack Benton's car. Don't think we're gonna make the checkpoint. Oh, actually, no. No. Of course, just a half a second short, I think. But that was a good race. If I do say so myself. Um, and the next up is a beat the bomb. In a shaker, which is Darby class car. We, uh, we've seen that one around. Not sure who drives it, actually. Maybe Ray Carter. Um, so yeah, here we go. Start. We've got 11 seconds. 10 now. But we do make it to the first checkpoint. Stay away from the inside here because of all the, the stuff that is there. This is a lot like the um, like the time runs we'll do later. The only difference being that we can't choose a car this time ourselves. This track I do really like. Really feels rally-like almost. Not that I'm a big fan of rally, but it just feels good. With these cars especially. We're gonna be, do a bit, little bit of a trick. Whoops. <laughs> and let's hope we don't spin on the landing. Nope. That one went uh, fine. Now try and stay away from the tire wall. Put a little a bit of power on the... A little bit of boost on that straight. Where you can benefit from it most. Take it easy through this corner. Now we're getting close to bronze now. Only a little bit left. There we go. Now heading for silver at 46,000. Um, should be well doable. I think we're still beating the clock. I think the clock is actually higher than we started with. But then again, this is a long stretch to the next checkpoint. Let's do the trick again. <laughs> I like that. There's some cars that can't do it, like the Blaster XL that we bought last time. Um, yeah, that can't do it. Oh, we're going a little bit wide here through the, um, through the tires. That's not too bad. Uh, I mean, I wanted to avoid it if I could, but now that we have done it, we can actually go a little bit wider in that corner next time. Because the tires are no longer there. So, we got gold, but we can see how far we can go. Um, still got quite a few seconds on the clock. And this car isn't too hard to drive, so... Another checkpoint is ours. It's getting close now though. We're down to six seconds when we hit the checkpoints now. Four seconds actually on that one. Do we get some extra seconds here? No, not even. So down to four again there. Into the first corner. And down the canyon again. It's getting ever closer. I think this will be under four seconds. Three, two, one, one and a half seconds we had left for that one. And the clock is already beeping as we go in uh, through the checkpoint for the next one. Do we make this one? Whoa, we just made it. I'm just powering through here. 
trying to get as much distance as possible. Because next one we won't make. And we got to 91,000 points. Which is almost, uh, well, it, it's getting close to double what we need. 18 checkpoints. Done. Let's see how far we go got with that one. Whoa, that's 245th of the world. That was good. Maybe if I didn't f m mix up that last one where we got stuck to the wall, maybe we would have done even better. Um, so yeah, that was good. So, uh, last thing is a Carnage Rage of the Crash Alley. This one, you guys will like. We do it in an Ansetta, which is the best race class car out there. Uh, though it's a little bit um, nervous. A very nervous car. Looks a bit like a rally car. And um, yeah, this is Crash Alley. Whoa, and we instantly get on our side. Let's hope we're actually going the right way. We uh, threw Ma Frank Malkov. And now we're back on the back stretch, which is the same stretch. And we crashed out Joe Richards. That gives us a lot of points. And I think I'm just going to race you because you get a lot of chances to hit people on this area. Oh, Lewis Duran there spun out by himself when we couldn't hit him. The only downside of this crash alley, something that I think that would be even better if it's this if this damn thing was actually whoa. If this thing was um if this thing was flat. I think we're already not doing great. Um and there's already two people who are completely out now, and there it goes back. Oh! Honestly, I have no idea whether we're going, uh, still going the right way. But, we're in second, so that's the thing. Um, so yeah, if this thing was flat, you could actually aim for people. Although, it would be easier to avoid them as well. Got silver. I don't think we're on fire yet. Which is good. And we're very close to gold already. There we go, gold is ours. Just due to airtime. Checkpoint. There we go, there's not a lot of people left. We just wrecked Labing. For a good amount of points. And we have 20 seconds left on the clock. The only people uh, still around is about five people that are still driving, which is actually not that bad a number, if you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of crashes going on. We saw a lot of explosions, and still, there's uh, five out of 12 people still driving. And now we got <laughs> we could have gotten into big trouble there with Frank Malcolm coming up. Ray Carter is right behind us, and that is game over for us. But still, nice score, I think. Um, we, um, we uh, earned an achievement, give me glory. And we unlocked the Insetta race class car, which means we can, I think we can also buy it later, which is great. Um, so next one is a stunt. Um, and then another stunt. Well, you know what, I'm gonna do this beat the bomb one as the last one for, for today. And then uh, next time we'll do those stunts, because especially the field goal, is a very hard one. Ring of Fire is a really one you have to be a little bit lucky and I have to remember what the angle is and I think so. Yeah, let's do this one with a CTR Sport. We go to the race uh, circuit, which is the first time we've seen this one on Rift Bay Circuit 1. And this thing is loud! So let me think, which one is this? I think uh, with the weird one where you can go over the grandstand. So, this is really, the Speed the Bomb one is really one where it helps that I know how the tracks go, because I know the lines, which means that I can really take my car there where I want it to, and there where it's fastest. I know which uh, corner is coming next, and I know what is the fastest line, although I must admit I can't remember what it is right here. I think it's this one. Seemed fine. Um, I didn't even see that checkpoint. Right here, it's better to go through this than through the ditch. And 
here. We have to try and stay on the right side. Oh. Well, at least that's cleaned up for the next time. So, the issue with my driving style is that I don't get a lot of boost. Because I don't hit a lot of stuff. But at the same time, um, it's a lot faster than hitting everything. Because if you hit stuff, you just lose a, little, a few kilometers an hour of speed. And that does count in the long run. Whoa, that was actually a mistake. Went a little bit wide. You can actually see that these cars are a lot faster than that old chili of ours. Um, and due to that, it's harder to put it exactly where you want it to. And you have to actually brake sometimes. This car does feel like it has a lot of understeer, which means that the car goes straight when you want it to go around the corner. It's like the front tires don't have the grip that you need. Whoops, had to go through the tires there. But we do have gold, and we still made it through one more checkpoint. Don't know if we make next one. We did! Wow! Try and get a little bit boost there. Nope. Weren't going to make that one. And we end up blown up on our side against the wall. That's great. Let's see how, how well we did. 429th. Oh, that's fine. So, yeah. I think that's enough for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, where um, we're going to do uh, the chili achievement again. So, hope to see you guys next time. Cheerio!